Hi, my name is Agatha. Welcome in Agatha's Cottage. Today I have episode 26 of Friday South. Hashtag Friday South was organized by Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room. Thank you so much, Jen, for sharing this hashtag with us. Every Friday, various vloggers are posting their videos under this hashtag. We talk about our makes, our plans, a bit about our lives. It's like having long distance tea or a coffee with a friend. Although it's so hot in Ireland over the last few days that I would say cold lemonade or a pint of beer. But not Guinness. I'm not the big fan of Guinness. You can hear my cat Reaper meowing in the background. Uh, he's a bit hands full this week. Um, he was recently diagnosed with cat's dementia and he barely can see, barely can hear. He's 14 and um, he's a bit anxious and he demands a walk. So we go for walks with a leash and a harness, etc. We actually come back 15 minutes ago, but he wants to go again. So he's just telling me, you know, he's not happy with me doing anything else except for walking or actually carrying him most of the time. Anyway, going back to Friday shows. Uh, this week, Jen asked us, have we made anything for Sweet 16 for someone we know we love or, you know, now or in the past and I actually haven't um, so Sweet 16 is not really celebrated in Poland I don't think it's celebrated as much in Ireland either it's more about uh, turning 18 and turning 21 than over turning 16 but we do celebrate Ali's birthday uh, quite a lot it's usually family day out and some gifts and some additional things this year our child decided yeah i don't think i want a party so this year she's turning 11 uh, in few weeks time we are actually taking her away for a few days to photo park and um, on top of that she wants to have her room redone because you know she's a growing young lady She's telling me she's not little anymore, so she's my young lady and uh, she needs more adult type room than what she has now. So what I have been up to last week, I did some upcycling. Alice needed more short sleeve t-shirts in her wardrobe, so we went through all the clothes she had, put away the ones that were small or were getting too small we located a few t-shirts that still fitted her well however the sleeves were a bit short so i shortened those and she has a few new t-shirts for summer i think i did seven of those t-shirts um so that was a good project i also made dress for alice i'll show you the dress okay it's a new look pattern. I will pop the picture of the pattern on the top. Uh, I made view C, although I didn't follow the instructions. I overlapped. Originally, I didn't want to include elasticated waist. I wanted to be just streamlined dress. And that's what Alice wanted as well. We had a look um, at the pattern pieces and I just basically overlapped them. I will put pop the picture how I did it so I overlapped the pattern pieces and I cut out the dress as a full front full back uh, sleeves um, however when we put it on Alice uh, it wasn't looking as we imagined it would it was just too loose and too flowy so I added elastic in the waist and in the future Whenever she decides she wants to have it loose, I can just unpick the elastic and have a loose dress. I hugged the sleeves uh, because originally sleeves had little hole opening uh, on the sleeve. We just wanted slightly puffy sleeves, so I just um, overlapped them a bit to both pattern pieces. And I did a splash and spread method on them and I think they turned out cute. 
um what else a uh, fabric i got is from fabric outlet i found it last saturday when i was there with my friend benita hi benita um i love this dress for her the quality of jersey it's okay it's not as brilliant jersey as from eco b for example but it's good enough uh, and it will be perfect for at least next year or two uh, so that's all things that i made for alice over last week next thing i made is a nightgown for me um few months ago i spotted in one of the autobra magazines a um, nightgown uh, that meant to be slightly oversized and i went with my uh, bust measurement i knew it would be oversized and i wanted this oversized feeling although it's it's a bit on over oversized uh, side however i like it i used a uh, pat uh, i use fabric it's linen jersey from a fabric outlet i got a few weeks ago um and it's very nice um, you know when you hit 40 you start getting first symptoms of perimenopause night sweats and nothing feels comfortable and your own skin is driving you insane and i wanted something for the night that will be loose that will be breathable that will make me feel a bit less constrained than my usual pjs so you know it's it's definitely not um flattering a uh, garment but i'm fine with it i just want something that's comfy i finished the neck band with the uh, bias binding from ecobi and i added just a few little um daisies on the front uh, i bought them i think from wish uh some time ago and i just needed something for the front uh for a bit of decoration you know girly side in me last few makes i did are for chris so i finished two pair of boxers for him this fabric is from uh, crafty studio in dublin it's very nice very soft I, I hope he will likes it and you know chris likes computers and computer games so i think he will find it amusing and this one is from ecobee uh, actually this fabric and the blue fabric um i wasn't paying attention when i was cutting out the pattern pieces and instead of uh, cutting each pattern piece separately i cut uh, legs on the fold therefore i didn't have enough space to cut all the pattern pieces uh, normally i can get with the boxers in his size from half of the meter but this time i didn't uh, i have two more pairs almost finished uh, i just need to add elastic to the waistband and they will be done I cut out PJ for Chris for Father's Day gift and I'm hoping to finish it either tonight or tomorrow so it's ready for Sunday because on Sunday we have Father's Day here in Ireland. Uh, what else? Um, so that's all the things that I actually did. As mentioned I was taking Reaper a lot for the walks uh, this week. You know I have him since he was five weeks old. If I can, I will pop the picture of how he was when he was little. Um, and it's just, you know, he's my baby and he needs me. If he needs me walk him five times a day, I will. It's just, you know, you meet a lot of people when they see you walking a cat because that's not something that's that common. Anyway, that's all four things that I made. What are my plans for next week? Um, actually, a good few. Uh, as mentioned i want to finish boxers for chris and pj for chris so that should be done today and tomorrow then on sunday it's father's day uh, depends on the weather we might go somewhere or we might just relax at home um, then starting from monday i do have a few things going on however i also have a few things i want to make first 
is a kimono tea by Maria Denmark. It's one of my favorite t-shirt patterns and I want to make it in this um, cotton jersey from Ecobee. Uh, the top is basically boat neck, drop shoulder, uh, very nice and it's free pattern when you sign up for newsletter or at least it was when I did it and it's one of my favorite patterns ever so I'm gonna use that to make uh, this top and it will be my entry for uh, So Fruity 23 challenge organized by uh, Yvette from Blossom Sandwich uh, if, you, if you didn't know she's also the co guilty party behind the stash hub called like that then the next make is also for me it will be tress bell um peplum top in this gorgeous gorgeous viscose jersey i got in fabric outlet last week i just love this tropical print so i, I got two meters of it if i will have anything left um because I'm doing peplum with the circle or half circle skirt um, so I might not have much left but if I will have any left I will make something for Alice because she likes that print too now the third make I want to make is for Alice I want to make her uh, shorts and a t-shirt so um, like a legging type of shorts and t-shirts uh, ideally something with the tie front because she just loves those t-shirts now and i will use uh, this fabric i got it from crafty studio a few months ago and i think it will be looking great on her um, and it will be also my entry for uh, so fruity and the last thing that i'm hoping at least i will start to make is the dress in viscose linen I got from Ecobee. You know I love this fabric. I was raving about this. So I have a pattern traced. It's just a matter of cutting out and you know putting it together. And um, because it's a woven make, it takes a bit longer. So I'm gonna do deal with the neat makes first and then I will do the woven one. My makes sorted. My plants sorted. Now what about life? Oh, question of the week sorted. Life. School holidays are coming. I cannot wait. We do have a fair bit of things going around, you know, with the end of school year and Chris is busy at work and we are very busy with repair. So um, life is quite busy, but that's okay. You know, there are different seasons in life and we are at the season of busyness for the moment, but it's going to be fine. So I don't have as much sewing time as I wish I could, but um, I think I'm doing quite well. The last thing what I want to say today is what I'm wearing, because I actually remember to say what I'm wearing. So this is Tress Bell by Ellie and Mac. The pattern comes as a peplum, peplum top or a dress. And you can have a dress with the circle or half circle skirt or the gathered skirt. So I made this uh, pattern many times and I love it. It's one of my favorite patterns ever. So uh, this fabric is viscose jersey I got from Poland. I will see if I can show you up close. It has little gold sparkles. And I just adore this dress. It's comfortable, it's flattering, it makes me feel put together. And as soon as it's out of the wash, I will put it on. So if you haven't tried an uh, Alien Mac Tress, Best, Tress Bell pattern, I highly recommend, especially if you like wearing dresses. So I think that's all for today. Yeah, I think I sorted all things I wanted to talk to you. So um, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And thank you to everyone who is watching. I really appreciate all your comments. You actually cheer me up every day when I, you know, get the notification there is a new comment. It makes my day. I try to respond to comments 
as soon as I have a minute to, to actually sit down, read carefully and think a little bit about my response. So uh, I'm sorry for any uh, long delays. Sometimes just gets too hectic. Anyway, don't forget, change your needle and clean your sewing machine if you haven't done so yet. Happy sewing. See you next week. Bye.